Welcome to Bulmatory's Paint Club, everyone. Uh, my name is Bulmatory. I'm joined as ever by the wonderful Mr. Badger. Hello. Uh, I have a Doge who is biting his own bot. Stop it. And um, we are here to paint some Warhammer for your amusement. Uh, what are you painting today, Mr. Badger? Well, if it's. Uh... Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's old school. Blast from the past there. Old school corn berserkers. Lovely. Whereas I'm just being boring and I've just got straight up um just straight up spods on a sprue. Brand new Primaris potatoes. Yeah. Primaris remedines. Right, so I need to start cracking on with this tonight. And I think I should start with the yellow. Yeah, one, one thing that I'm going to be doing these as is I'm not going to be painting them red. Oh, yes. I'm going to go and I'm going to try and see what they come out in the pre-heresy colour scheme. Ah. So they are, in fact, going to be mostly white with blue shoulders. Nice. Um, right. I'm, my brain is working at, like, 20% capacity, <coughs> capacity to say today. So apologies if I'm a bit... All over the place. How's your you. How's your weeks been? I say weeks because it's been a while. Well, it's it's been a bit of a, a strange, mm. and very tiring time. Yeah. Is it getting used to new shift patterns, or is it more? Uh... I, I think I'm I think I'm used to new shift patterns, but there are one or two other little bits and pieces mm. which have which have occurred. Well, um, if, if you want to talk about them here, you can. I don't mind if you don't want to. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the fact that... Um, I did hear about your uh, your yeah, sad, sad loss. T yes. Yes. Poor, poor Papa. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Doggo. I'm sure mm. they're happy in the sky somewhere. Playing with all their friends. Yes. It's always a sad time when that happens. And uh, yeah, how's uh, how's Emma treat uh, han hanging on? She she's getting better. Yeah. Getting better, but it's going to take a long time. Yeah. Very long time. Yeah. I don't even want to think about it for uh, for any of our dogs, but uh, no, you've got uh, not only once, twice, but three times the furry companion. Yeah. Oh man. So yeah, I'm very, very sorry to hear that, and um, my best wishes go out to yourself and the fam. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moments, moments of silence for the doggo, I think. There we go. So, other than that, how, how, um, how, how have you been? Are you, uh, are you doing okay? I'm alright. That's I'm, good. I'm, I'm good. Well, shall, shall start we... Note. Start off with a, a bit of a, a bomb mode. Yeah. yeah. Shall we um, lighten the mood slightly and uh, discuss upcoming releases for Warhammer? Ooh, I I really, really want squats so bad. I I want them to, to, to stop talking and, and, and take off my money. Well... You will be able to do that very, very soon, as they are releasing a army box mm. at the end of September. Lovely. And they've added it. They've got a few more things released to balance out the army. There's an actual big, big tank now. Oh, nice! Instead of, instead of just that little weird bobblehead traveler thing, that it's actually called the Land Fortress. Nice. And it is, a, it is a big boy. 
That sounds like my kind of thing. Yep. So is that on um, the is that in the army box? No, I Aww. don't think that's in the army box. Give us a second, uh raise it. I'm just wondering whether or not it'll actually come up on the the website. They might the not have, they effect. they might not have the listing ready for it. Sure, I'm gonna check the pre order section. Ah, um, I see. Except your cookies go away. Maybe. And the order is two. Nope. Not yet. Not in the pre-orders. Nope. And not in the new releases. Never mind. But from from what I can remember, they have like they've got like a champ, like a lieutenant character in there. Yeah. They've got um, an actual character. Ooh. Uh, there is the like a, a squad of the standard dudes. Yeah. And I believe they've got the bike squad. Ooh, what do the bike squads look like? I wonder. They are like hover bikes. Ooh. No, like, no, more than just hover bikes, hover trikes. That sounds awesome. Yeah. We saw the destined as the character. Yeah, the, the, the three bikes. Oh, 20 standard dudes and the codex. Nice. So you get a character, 22 troop choices, and the actual codex. Okay. As well as, as, well as the motor bikes. So 20 guys, a, 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 a bike squad, and two HQs, essentially. Now let's just see how much that would be worth. And um, don't tell me what the price is yet. I want to, want to guess. I don't, think, and then be I don't a... think they've got a price out yet, but I would ah, assume right. it will probably be the same as when the uh, the Beast Snaggers came out. So you're likely looking at about 110. Yeah, no, that's not worth it for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn it! Games Workshop, stop, stop being shit. It's a it's a cost of living crisis, so, and we don't need to spend over a hundred pounds on models. No, thank you. That sounds like it's probably going to be a Christmas situation for me. Yeah, I mean the the, the box set is supposed to be released proper at around the end of September. Yeah. Well, I'll be grabbing it in December then. Because I can't mm. afford it. Outside of Crimbo. What do you games workshop? Trust them to spoil my fun. Listen, did I actually switch my web camera? So all you've been doing is looking at my stupid faces. <laughs> bloody level that I've been trying to paint. It's all good. We were having serious talk. Very serious talk. Yes. What else am I looking at? Yeah. yeah, so uh I've been I've been getting like increasingly burned out. Um I've, I've like missed stream days just because um I just haven't had the energy. Which is kinda of shit. But uh, maybe in case that you might need to just think about it, maybe take a couple of um yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, I've just been, you know, whenever I've not been up to it, I've not been forcing myself to stream. So I've been, I, I think I've been doing alright with it, you know. It's just a shame. Because uh, I would like to stream pretty much every day if I could, but obviously life gets in the way, doesn't it? It does. But we, I, 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 I have no regrets about taking, uh, taking a day off streaming. Uh, the, uh, was it last weekend? No, it was the weekend before, I think. And uh, yeah, we, uh, me and uh, Mrs. Bullock went out for a lovely afternoon out. Did some shopping, went to some pubs. It was wonderful. Speaking of, speaking of pubs and things like that, um, obviously the other night, the birthmas of the Badger. Yes, yes, happy birthday to you. I went to see some Glory Hammer. Oh, nice. And before before that, before the doors opened, went to the Hard Rock Cafe. 
that's that's in Newcastle. Oh yeah, yeah. And had like the first sort of lagerie beer that I that for like a very long time. Okay, how 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 was that for you? It was very nice because I got some road crew. That is a very good beer, actually. I would say that's more of a pale ale than um, than a lager, but yeah, it's a very good beer. It was also like the only drink that we had there because it was like six pound thirty. Yeah. Well, welcome to the price of beer now. That's just how thing, how Everybody's. expensive things are these days, unless you're in a Weatherspoons. To which point they freshly squeeze it from their staff members. <laughs> no, they just... Um, it's like so diluted. Like, you might as well be drinking orange juice. Pours light. <laughs> oh, God, no. I think uh, drinking that actively sobers you up rather than drink, uh, getting drunk. Man. Yeah, so uh, that's um, that's pretty much my update. Oh, I, I bought a I bought an Xbox. And oh, uh, the, cr the crystal one. Yeah, I bought the crystal Xbox. Um, it works to a point. Um, the problem is the um, the disc drives. Uh, you know the the lens on it uh, seems to be very fucking filthy. So it's not reading discs properly. Um, so I've got a lens cleaner on its way. Uh, that'll arrive in the next couple of days. Uh, you know, you, you know the little discs that've got little brushes on them. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna whack that in because it is reading discs, kinda. I tried to play Mecha Salt on um, on Sunday, and it wasn't fucking having it. It was just busted, like badly busted. Um. But then I tried playing Morrowind yesterday, and uh, it kind of worked until it stopped. It was taking a long time to load, and then at one point it just gave up loading and crashed. Okay, honestly, um, that's Morrowind, most likely, rather than the Xbox. Well, maybe. But uh, the Morrowind was running fine uh, until it just stopped. But uh, it, I think it is, uh, it's definitely a dirty disc uh, lens issue. Rather than okay. anything else. If you think of it this way, the it's been the sat there. Well, the original Xbox itself is now coming on to like it's like 20, 20 years old. On I think it mind. might be over twenty years old. Um, I mean, the crystal one I've got definitely isn't, but I think the the first date it got released might have been like twenty something. 2000 and something. I think it was released before we went to uni. Yeah. Because I had one before that time, and that's probably close to about 2000. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I had one in, uh, in school. And uh, I left school like... Oh, fucking hell, when did I leave school? Okay, so... So it's working out how old I am. I left school in 2004, I think. So it was definitely before 2004. Because I remember us um, having like LAN parties playing. Uh, one of us had an Ethernet, uh, yeah, had the Ethernet cable, and uh, the rest, uh, yeah, and we'd, we'd like. So I had a portable telly. I had my normal telly. And my mate brought his Xbox around and we'd like take turns. One of us would be playing Morrowind, the other person would be playing Rainbow Six at all like Counter Strike on the uh, on the one that had the the, uh, the land cable. <laughs> oh, nice. And we'd just swap and change, it was great. Magical times. Yeah. In the way back when. <laughs> In the way back when, yes. I think but the volume of the music might be a bit too high. Let's just turn that down a tiny bit. There you go. 
I can hear you perfectly well over it, but uh, I don't know. A audio is I weird. Am, I am essentially whispering in your ear. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sweet nothing. Hello. Hello, Dave. <laughs> right, so. Need to figure out which uh, arm I'm putting on this. I think I'm going to put... I think, like, they group it all together, so all of this should be, like, one guy. Yeah, the, the try to sort of bunch them up into, into people. Yeah. And then I've got all of the... Um, the rest of the torsos on this sprue here. So we've got one torso on here, and uh, one, two... Three, four, yeah. So that makes the re the other half of the squad. Because I've got half the squad just above me over there. Wh who are done. And I'm happy with them. Right, so let's get more Avaland. Wow, I'm actually, I'm actually like just over halfway down the pot for the Avaland. You did paint a tank with it as well. Though. I did, yeah. <laughs> so I might need to get myself some the more. tanks. Have you, no. have you had the chance to no. at least mend that? No. Nope. I've not looked in the bag. I, I refuse because it's just going to make me sad. I don't want to oh do dear. it. I don't want to do it. Because I know oh. that there's going to be parts missing. I can just feel it. I can feel it in my yeah, bones. It's it's, it's going to be it's going to be bad. Feel it in your slippers. Yeah, I can feel it in my slippers. I can feel it in my toes. Yes, I. Uh, I am. I'm afraid that 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 tank may never recover. I will. I will one day have a go when I'm slightly stronger. <laughs> I'm feeling up to it. I will open the bag and see if I can figure out how to put it together. How to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. After his great fall. Luke, stop biting your tail. Silly boy. Close, close. Ah, fucking... Dad's trying to ring me. I'm busy. Yeah, ring you back later. Thing, the only other thing I could think of is, uh, hello, Mr. Dave. We have heard that you have been involved in an accident. <laughs> Either that or, hello. Yeah. <laughs> hell comes to breakfast. Yeah, right, so. Fabulous. No one's ever heard of Zimmer's Hole and you enjoy comedy metal. Check out Zimmer's Hole. It's very good. Okay. In fact, that's a band I've never put onto. Uh, I've, I've never brought up on Stevie's uh, streams. Next time I am, uh, I'm on one of his streams, and he's doing the uh, the song request. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some Zimmer's Hole. Nice. And it's going to be great. I Whenever I'm introducing them for the first time, I'm always cut torn between when I was shouting at the devil. You know, you, you, uh, I, while you were shouting at the devil, I was in league with Satan. Or the... Um, oh, bloody hell. What's that? What's, what's it called? Something... Oh, it's, it's like some sort, some sort of unit of distance. I oh, know, we rule the fucking land. There you go. We Rule the Fucking Land is a great song. Great unit of distance. Yes, it is a great unit of distance. So I was just thinking land. My, my, my brain went, it must be length. It must be talking about miles. <laughs> oh, well done, brain. Well done. Some sideways logic right there. You've only had four hours of sleep. You can be. This is very true. I think it's it is weird the way your brain works when you're like sleep deprived slightly, and um, 
Yeah. And you're aggressively you tired. Yeah, you just you find yourself thinking the weirdest shit. Yeah, I was in the office as well today, which means I, I couldn't have just taken it easy and had a little nap somewhere in the day. But that was not a possibility, so... Not without risk of uh, being, uh, you know, caught. Well, fired say, immediately. You, you, you could have, but... <laughs> it's... It would have been risky. Very in risky. End. Well, at least that would give me more time to stream. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I'm taking some uh, some days off towards the end of the month to go and see Sl uh, no, not Slay, Anthrax. I'm going to see S uh, Anthrax and Municipal Waste. Ooh, nice. So that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, that's if I'm allowed to take time off. Which... Um, at the moment is not a hundred percent guaranteed. Although it's it's leave, so they shouldn't they shouldn't really say no. Well, they sh they shouldn't, but it all so depends on how many people are already off. Well, I know that one's already off, but and he is the, usually the person who covers me my work. But like, I'm training other people at the moment how to do my stuff just in case I get hit by a bus or go off. I think I think they're panicked that I might go off with like mental health for like six months or something because that's what like a lot of people do. And I'm just like, yeah, it's a it's a possibility. I'm not gonna lie. Excuse me, you have worked me too hard. Eh, it's not really worked me too hard. It's just the the absolute shit show that is the uh, current process that I'm managing is just not working at all and no one's really helping mm, I see. so yeah it's all fun and games you know oh dear bloody hell you take a couple of weeks off here and there on Paint Club, and, uh, and everyone buggers off. <laughs> it just does them at the moment, I fear. Yes, I hadn't I had noticed that. I was like, hmm. Yeah, that's the thing with streaming. It's got to be regular. It's got to be, you know, consistent. You've got to constantly just do this, you know, do the same schedule. Hmm. And I know that, but you know, some the shift workers can't do it. I'm hoping that Rich gets that job. Because um, I think that would really help him. You know, get, uh, get, a, get a solid schedule down and. Uh, that would be nice, actually. Yeah, well, I want to see him like, do good things and all that stuff and actually come out of it swinging. Um, yeah. Because I noticed that like his current job has like, fucked him over stream time wise. Yeah. Well, you, you do sort of know that he's kind of got like the, the thing that is the stage up from Carpal Tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's like in, in both of his arms. Man. And he, he got like a doctor's note and everything and all that stuff. Yeah. And was talking to the the people at his job. I'm like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be back next week, but you're going to have to put us on a... What, what is it? A... Um, a staggered comeback. Yeah. I think they instantly booked him in for like 90 hours worth of work. Fucking hell. So, uh, not, not none of that then? What the hell? None, none of that. Thank you very much. So did he just, did, did he pack it in or is he still doing no. it until he gets another thing? Until, well, he's, he's, he's pretty much got to do it until he gets another thing. Yeah. But what he did is... At that particular point in time, he just got the doctors to give him a second sick note yeah. to ex extend it for one more week, and um, then he kind of came back yeah. as, a, as a staggered start on his own terms and not with them, but he hammering the shit out of him. Yeah, you don't want any of that. <clears throat> you don't want to be killing yourself. Because let's be honest. Well, it wasn't the fact that he's killing himself, killing himself or anything, it's the, fa it's the fact that he's his arms don't work properly. Yeah. 
Like it's, it's but you, 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 you know what I mean? You, you, you're hurting yourself even more trying to, you know, trying to make up these hours, mm. and it's just it's not good for you. Yeah. Yep. You know, you, you're basically injuring yourself for money, <laughs> essentially, uh, which is not good. Not a good place to be. Unfortunately, this guy mm -hmm. that I'm painting at the moment is going to look a bit weird. Why? Because he was already painted. Oh no. Which means I've had to like go over him, so he's a bit sort of like the details are a bit thick. Yeah. Oh no, is it a thing you paint special? Well, I do think that paints, but uh, that you know what I mean, though. It, it, it is pretty close to that. Yes. <laughs> he is uh, a face a, painted on a helmet. He is a densely painted boy. Not that bad, but he is a densely <laughs> painted boy. Man, we'll have to uh, have a quick gander at the uh, at that video. Yeah, at some point I'll do that after we've finished here. But I um, have to look at the uh, the Discord before we finish today because we've got got quite a few finished uh, jobbies. Yeah. From some of our, our lovely community, I think the paint club is more becoming a Discord thing rather than the Twitch thing these days. I think it, it is just—it's it, a frustrating thing because I know that what you know. Well, it was one of the—it was the flagship. It was. It was. It was like one of the first things that really took off here, which was lovely. It was your flagship show, but. Uh... And I, you know, I'm not going to stop doing it. I don't give a shit if it ruins my uh, my viewer numbers. I fucking love doing this. I need to. I need to. I need to do the off weeks. That's that's what I need to do. I'm just so bad at like talking while painting if I don't have someone to talk at. So I need to figure out a format that I can do paint club solo, where it won't look what? completely shit. What are you? <laughs> my suggestion. Get a big old cardboard cutout. Put another camera somewhere in the house facing the cardboard cutout. So whenever you look up at your computer, you can see <laughs> just, just, just. We need to get. Whatever Fern, you feel like. Fern, if you're there, we need to get a cardboard cutout of Badger made. Life size. But instead of, uh, instead of my face, it'll be like the Mr. Bean movie where he. Puts his own face on Whistler's mother, by <laughs> she just has it on. Lovely, lovely bit of Red Alert. I need to, I need to play those games at some point. I've got a few games planned for when uh, I finally finish Rogue Tech. And for anyone who's been watching my Rogue Tech uh, series. Thank you, first of all. It's been lovely. Um, and also, I'm sorry, because I, I will eventually finish that game. I have put so many hours into Battletech, it's not even funny. I mean, I'm in the, the many hundreds of hours stage now. Not quite a thousand, but like... A lot, <laughs> and it's all been oh. streaming basically. Hello, hello. Yeah, Next. I've basically got free playthroughs done almost. Have you not tweaked uh, any of the, the? Have you not tried any of the, the big mod packs yet? I have not tried any mod packs with you. My... You, sh you should totally do that because they are insanely good. They're really easy to install as well. You know, you, you know my luck with mods. I'm terrible with them, but uh, they are really good, easy to, to set up and that. You're not terrible with mods, Dave. <laughs> what you, your problem is that you you just you just can't choose. You must have <laughs> them all. This is this is Pokemods. 
Got to catch them all. Fucking mods. And then your computer sets on fire because it's like, oh no. Yes, this is why... Um, it's done it again. <laughs> this is why I get Fraggle to do Armlord back on MechWarrior 5. <laughs> Bless you, Sorry. dear. Bless you. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> But yes, um, that, that's probably the reason why I haven't even considered poking mine with a stick yet. Aye. Really, because I'm just not confident at fiddling around with the files. Even though it might be like super easy, I'm like, yeah. Mm, somehow, somewhere, I'm going to make the mistake and it's going to grill something. I, I would say try it, because it does basically extend the game significantly. There is so much content in there that, like, you just wouldn't find otherwise. And it, it, it adds significantly. Like, Rogue Tech especially just turns the game into a fucking carnival of pain. BTA is the better of the two mods, in my opinion. It's BTA seems, from all the descriptions that you've given and all the descriptions that I've seen from, like, Brad and all that, it's the, it's the gateway mod for an enhanced experience yeah. it's not super hard it increases some of the, the like the mechanics and, and makes them more like in line with how they should be reacting in the base game yeah but it doesn't just go oh by the way get wrecked from 400 meters away with uh, yeah. a machine gun to the forehead <laughs> yeah rogue tech is more uh It's a menace, is what it is. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, but I think if I do ever do another playthrough, I would definitely do it in BT, uh, BTA. Yeah, it, it, if you definitely do it with BTS. Yeah, BTS. Battletech shit mode! I was more or less thinking K-pop. Oh no. I, oh yes. I don't know K-pop. I'm sure that's the that, that's essentially the plan. No. Apparently, apparently, I need to know. I needed to know who that was, and I don't. Mm -hmm. I just got a a sigh from the other room. A sigh from the other room. Well, I, I'm assuming that she's got somebody who plays a lot of it. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea who they are, so. Well, now they've sort of broken up, but only because, surprisingly enough, in, like, Korea and that, they have, oh, what is it, the military service, sorry. Oh, yeah. So, so they've had to, they've had to split up, because half of the, the team, half of the singers, have gone on their military service. And they were, like, super proud to do it and things like that, and they will be back. Like after so many years, <laughs> only half of them made it back after the war with North Korea. After so many years. Yeah. yeah um, I mean, I've had a giant influx of of K-pop based things since finding the Fair Lady. Oh yes. Because miniatures love K-pop. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm using me black now. I think if I can get one model done tonight, I'll be I'll be pleased enough. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Where's me uh, clippers at? It's okay, my dearest. Ah, oh, that's wet. It's fine. What we've paid. Ah, fuck. In a way, now that I consider doing these guys in the pre Heresy World Eater style, I really should have undercoated them in Wraithbone. You pro possibly should have. <laughs> what it should have cut up? It's fine. Just add another coat. That's the solution to all of our problems. Just add more um, paint. Just 
Many thin Gen layers um, coat better than a couple. Gently dips the model into the paint pot. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out perfectly finished. And you're like, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I am a genius! You try it with all of your other models and none of them work, you're like, no! Just come out like looking like a looking like a brick. <laughs> Just instantly solidifies the paint on the model. Comes out in the shape of the paint pot. Nah. <laughs> Fill your paints! As we should say, every time the, the, the thing your paint is mentioned, you should go see that video. Yeah. It is on the YouTubes. It is very funny. And accurate. Uh, um, yeah, as I was very saying, in some circumstances, very, very close to the... Uh, close to the bone. Yeah. Close to the right bone. Yeah. I'm doing a pretty shit job of this. This is why I need to do this fucking weekly, because I'm... I need practice. I've lost all of my skills now. It looks like I've tried a 12-year-old putting fucking lipstick on. For the first time ever. Okay, here we go. Right. Yeah. I am pledging to do Bulls Paint Club Weekly from now on. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. No take backsies. No take backsies. I'm doing it. I will paint solo. And I will make people enjoy it. I will ram it in their faces. <laughs> what about the bucky? You what? If you pay you're painting solo, so you're doing it all for the walkies. Uh... Yay! <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot that Badger was a dad now, Yay. and has all of the dad jokes. Ah! Uh... Maximize them dad jokes. Indeed. My camera zoomed in a weird thing. It has done, yes. God damn it! It's fine. Nice. nice. Oh yeah, I've uh, I, I I properly fucking fell in love with uh, No Man's Sky yesterday. What did you manage to find? So I was just flying. Oh. I was just flying around. Found a fucking monolith. Just a tower, um, like a man-made tower, like you know, super sci-fi monolith. Oh, nice! Just, just randomly on a planet. So I, I went in and had a look. Well, I, I landed at it, spotted some ruins just to, just across the way. Went to look at the ruins, and then when I came back to the monolith, it was under attack by pirates. So, like, I flew off to kill to kill the pirates. And um, and then I lost the monolith, and I was How gutted. Did you lose the monolith? Um, the pirates, the pirate fight strayed a little bit, and because the draw distance isn't amazing, or well, because I've had to turn it down a bit because uh, streaming you can, and stuff. Well, because your computer was set on fire. Um. So yeah, I couldn't really necessarily see it from like ridic from ridiculous range. Um. So, Fraggle, the genius, went back into the VOD, uh, where it went into VOD mode, and went back and found and sort spotted the coordinates on my dashboard. Nice. And came and, uh, and told me the, the coordinates that I was parked at, and I found them again. And I say them because um, when I looked to the left after I'd been in the monolith, um, there was a fucking second one, exactly the same, just parked right next to it. I was like, what the fuck? Two monoliths in one? They're like buses. 
So the procedural generation in uh, in that game, I, you know, is interesting to say the least. You spend all your time looking for these cosmic space entities, and then two of them turn up at once. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, I had a fucking jolly time just derping around the universe yesterday, and it was brilliant. So I'm, I'm really getting into No Man's Sky now. And um, I must say that the, the, yeah, the, the, the changes they've made to that game since, since it launched... It, it's well, actually turned it into a game. Well, I, I liked it when it came out. I found it to be a very chill experience. Just, you know, looking around, well, looking at plants and animals and going, ooh, shiny, this is very pretty. Well, I think that's like the big difference between you and a lot of the other people who actually played No Man's Sky is you, you didn't go into it expecting like fast magical space battles and faction warfare and god knows what, you just wanted to fly around, find a particularly weird shaped animal and then put your name on it. Yep, I wanted to call it the, the, the Boobasaur and, uh, and all of that, but I have to say, even though I am one of those weird people who enjoyed the game when it came out on release. I have to say, they, the, 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 the additions have really improved the game. Like, as I said, you know, the pirates attacking like facilities that you might be you know, near, near at, and you can get um, you know, um, bonus uh, reputation points for, uh, you know, for killing them. And reputation points mean that you can you can buy better shit in the sh in the shops. Nice. Um, and <coughs> oh, Luke, please don't shout. I was just about to say, is he buffing at something? Is yeah. Somebody come through the door. Bear has decided he wants to play now, and he's brought his ball for Luke to look at. And Luke's like, no, go away. I don't want the ball. Leave me alone. Oh, woof. Yes. Luke's just trying to have a fucking nap. And Bear's getting in the way of his nap. Like the grumpy old git he is. Yes. All he wants is nap. And, and custard creams. Naps and custard creams, yes. So basically he he really is an old man. Pretty much. So yeah. Um, and I've also um, been getting really into... Um, do you know the game I was saying was basically Dark Cloud Free? Yeah. Well, it's, it's not. It's really not. It's the third RPG made by um, Level 5, who did Dark Cloud Dark, Dark Chronicle, or Dark Cloud 2 if you're American. Um, and they did a game called Rogue Galaxy towards the very end of the PS2's life, life cycle, taking like full-on advantage of the PS2's capabilities. And it is, look, it is, it's just bonkers. I fucking love it. I'm having a very good time with it. The story's just off the wall nuts. Is it along the same lines of twirly mustache evil anime guys kind of bonkers? It's getting there. It's getting there. But yeah, it's, it's, it's so good. Um, and I'm having a very, very good time with it. So that's that's my Saturday game at the moment. Um, I think once I get my Xbox fixed, Mech, Mech Assault's going to be my Sunday game, and I think No Man's Sky is going to be my, like my midweek game when I'm not playing Rogue Tech. So there you go. Really, really like Rogue Galaxy. It's so good. So like the. Just to tell you something about how insane it is, there is a um, you meet a talking frog. The talking frog has a has a blonde quiff, and um, the talking frog with the blonde quiff is how you upgrade weapons. Oh. <laughs> he 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 swallows two weapons, chews them and combines them and spits out. A better weapon. So, <laughs> I remember the first time you had that, you were like, "What?" Yeah, I was like, "How is this? How does this work?" 
this isn't real. <laughs> and then, it, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of that now, and it's good. Go for, Great go weapons for. like there is no tomorrow. Combination frog. Combo frog. Best frog. Oh fuck's sake! <laughs> Sorry, sir. There you go. The air felt the air system on the the, the mug wasn't working. <laughs> Oh man. So have you been playing any games recently? And how have they been? Uh, I have been just bumbling around on MacWarrior 5. Oh yes. Because I figured out that I believe somehow because I might have been, you know, a, a Kickstarter of it. Mm. Um, but I got the first DLC for free, so I've got the Heroes of the Inner Sphere DLC. Oh, nice. Nice. And I'm, I'm pondering whether or not I should fork out for the other ones. Okay. I would say the second DLC is definitely worth getting hold of. The third DLC... I can take or leave. It's really only useful if, uh, if you just want to give the devs some money to do more. You know, to encourage more mech warrior -age. Yeah. But really, the content uh, in there is like it's a couple of mechs, um, and uh, close combat. Yeah, and some close combat weapons. And other than that, it's just a few UI improvements, all of which have already been done by mods. So basically, if you have an unmodded game, it's probably worth getting because there's a lot of quality of life improvements going on there. But um, if you have already experienced modding. Um, Pretty much nothing will have changed. Yeah, nothing will change from getting the uh, third DLC. Just a couple of uh, mechs that are there by default that have already been modded in, but you know, obviously the default versions are much nicer and upgraded. Yeah, they're just much better kitted out. So yeah, um, I, I I enjoyed I enjoyed them. Other than that, I've really just. Jump on and off and on and off and on and off of Noita. Noita? Oh, yes. Yeah, that yes, game. <laughs> I it's have... like somebody went, hey, Dead Cells is really, really difficult. Let's ramp that up. <laughs> I have officially given up on Noita. I just... I'm never going to finish that game. I, I keep getting to the... Uh, I think it's the Frozen level. I think I've got past the Frozen level once. The PC base. Yeah... Um, you see base is essentially but the, the frozen level is a quite a big jump in difficulty regardless of whether or not you're on what difficulty you're on it, yeah. it's like oh look everything's good everything's good why are, why are the guys with guns now what the guys with guns i can i can sort of deal with it's just um the ones that explode into multiple guys with guns um yes. they are i don't know how to deal with them other than like having unfair. yeah other than having just the most broken spell combination well you've, you've really got to have that you've really got to get lucky yeah just to just to get that like and um i got past them just because i had the most fucking overpowered beam weapon like whenever i fired it it would only stay you know firing for like a second at most but that was a glorious second where everything died <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've managed, I, I'm pretty sure I've already said, I've managed to finish it once. Yeah. I, used, um, I, got, I had a really, really good setup. I just dug my way through the ground until the last level. <laughs> so, ignoring everything in between as best as I could. And then I cheesed the boss. Oh. Because uh, I ran away. Yeah. Back towards where the temple is. Yeah. And... The, the entrance to the temple was fine. Obviously, everything collapses after you pick up power-ups and things. Yep. So I pushed myself to a wall, and the hit was something that had an earthquake effect. Yeah. So all of the bricks fell around us, but didn't squish us. And he couldn't shoot me, but I had a tiny hole that I was firing <laughs> the whole, hoping bullets out of it, and I just sat there for ages. And oh. Just, pew, 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 it, pew, pew, pew. I love it when you can cheese a boss like that. And yep. I've only finished it once, and after that, 
it unlocks nightmare mode. Oh, good. Which, of yeah. course, you had to go on. Well, it's it's how I'm playing it now. I'm playing nightmare mode, and I can barely make it to the bloody uh, second locations. In fact, it's difficult enough making it through the first location. <laughs> because... Y you know how usually on like, New Game Plus and things, enemies are scaled to be, yeah. like, as strong as you are. It's uh -huh. not a little stronger to give you a challenge. Well, Moida seems to have just gone, nah. Because <laughs> you, you start off as if you started off in a standard run. All of the enemies have, like, ten times the amount of health. Do ten times the amount of damage. And you, you just have a... Well, you, you start off with three upgrade mods and the Tinker with Ones Everywhere mod. And they're three randomised mods. Oh, yes. So you can completely fuck yourself over straight off the bat if you pick the wrong ones. But you can well, get lucky, I guess. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, teleportators was a pain in my freaking arse. <laughs> Every time you get hurt, you just teleport to a random location. Oh, I hate that one so much. Yep. But, but with that one... It's those splitty guys who explode into more guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you really just have to take a take a wing at them, run away. Take a wing at them, run away. Kill the minions they spawn. Try and run away. Because <laughs> everything is also pinpoint accurate. Yeah. Then again, it's pinpoint accurate when you're not on that no I was going to say, it's pre that, that's pretty much par for the course in Noita. Yeah, Nightmare Mode sounds like um, not fun. <laughs> you think Dark Souls is hard? Honestly, I, 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 you know what? Looking back on my run, like... When I was uh, I was marking all of my videos as complete. Yeah, the the co I've completed a game. I um. I I realized just how many of the bosses I actually did actually have problems with, because like you know when I was looking back on it the other week, you know after you know, the the day after I'd completed it, um, yeah. I was all, I was giving it all that saying oh yeah none of the bosses really annoyed me apart from the tree. But looking back on it, the, uh, a lot of the bosses fucked me over. The gargoyles, the gargoyles were the first ones to fuck me. Well, they are pretty much like one of the first big, big bosses in that. Yeah, and I, I think I lost like fifteen or twenty lives just to that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I didn't have it as easy as I thought I did. I mean, I, I, I died 150 times, um, I thought. And a tenth of them were on the gargoyles. Kind of, yeah. Which is kind of kind of shame. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the Kaka Demon, the... Uh... The Capra Demon. The yeah, the Capra in, Demon. Which is essentially, here's a guy with two weapon wielding in an alleyway. He's going to shank you up. Yeah, it's like here, here's here's a, a, uh, an enemy that you won't see again until very late on. <laughs> Have him as a boss, please. Do I call him? Huh? I'm, I think a lot of the the FromSoft enemies seem to work. Yeah. You get one which is a boss quite early on, and then you'll just keep seeing him reappear and reappear and reappear. It's quite a good way of um, demonstrating how far you've come, really, I think. Honestly, the same thing can really be said about Dragon's Dogma. Yes. I... You'll, you'll get a big, nice, epic battle, and then every other monster in the bushes will be the thing that you've just kicked the shade <laughs> out of. I really love Dragon's Dogma, but I've never completed it. There's gonna be a second one. Mm. I know. I know. I think just, like, uh, before it comes out, I'm going to have to play through the first one. Right, I did complete Dragon's Dogma after a very, very long time. Yeah. Of just, of just going at it. But that was just, just because I was jumping on and off and on and off and on and off and yeah. playing around with it. But it's got a very weird ending. Oh, okay. Like an exceptionally weird ending. And I think what will happen is when you complete it, Yeah. you'll do what I did and spend about an hour or so just 
bumbling around. Oh yeah. Thinking, what the hell's going on? And then you go, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Let's not. It is, it is an interesting way that they they really end that game. Okay. Well, I I look forward to it. I think that's something I will play at some point. I've got quite a few games that I need to play before that, though. Oh, yeah. Including some PS2 ones that I picked up. Um, for pretty a pretty decent price. So I need to do that. I need to go through them. I've got a Ghost in the Shell game. Which oh, is apparently... Yeah, apparently that's quite rare. And... Uh, yeah, the guy I bought the games off had it. I was like, hmm, I would, I would like that one, please. And so, I'm gonna have to play through that at some point. I don't even know what kind of game it is yet. I think the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex is different from like the original Ghost in the Shell game. Yeah, because the Ghost in the Shell game on the uh, PlayStation One was really good. It was a um, little, a t a little tank platformer. Yeah, yeah, little tank game where you could stick onto walls and shit. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. I had the demo uh, on a, uh, on demo disc as a kid. And I just kept playing with it. I think it, it was like a, you know, you've got two minutes to do something, but I was too busy just sticking onto walls going, wee! <laughs> so I never actually completed the demo. Too fun playing with the mechanics. Yeah. You know a game's good when you can when you can just fuck about with the mechanics, not not know what's going on, and still have a hell of a lot of fun. Right, this uh, this guy is going to need a heck of a lot of twi uh, touching up because I have I've done it. I've had a I've I've had a, I've had a nightmare on the uh, the base coat. Like, it is just everywhere. Fuck's sake, I'm in, in my own light here. And the sprue's in the other light, bit of light there. Okay, here we go. Fuck's sake. There's a bit of black there that I've missed. On that leg there. I'll have to go after that in a second. How's your uh, corn berserkers getting on, Badger? Uh, I'm getting on well with the first one, the weird, overly painted one. Yeah, you're repairing him basically. Yep. Nice. He's getting there. Okay, let's try and get this done a little bit neater than the other one. Got a knee pad thing. Like a knee guard. Late. To the side. Whoops. Nice. Dump the camera in the paintbrush. Okay. Yes, that will do nicely. Sweet. Right. Now the only other colour I need to do as like the first coat is the uh, lead belcher and the Balthazar gold. I need to do some black, but I'll wait until I get to the uh, sort of tidying level yeah. to do that. You now I've just realised that I've left the black downstairs. So. <laughs> Here, borrow mine. <laughs> if only I could pass it through. 
through the internet. We don't have that technology yet. No. Patent passing through the uh, the the ether web ether web it does not does not exist yet. All right, lead belt shot. Give it a shake, shake, shake. Oh, lead belt is always good for this. Yeah, solid bit of paint. Nom nom nom. Okay. Whack a good dollop there. Don't need to thin lead belcher too much. Metallic paints kind of they're, they're okay as they are. Just give it a stir. Well, Metallic paints are pretty thin. Yeah. In their own right. Right, so just dab a bunch off the uh, off the brush there, and we can begin. I'll do the uh, little the little dollops on the side of the uh, legs first. Oh, light's in the wrong place for me here. I might set up my other computer for streaming uh, painting. I've got my, mm -hmm. my, old, my old computer, and I think that would work for for painting yeah. streams perfectly well. You don't need a yeah. massive computer, uh, you know, massive graphics card, do you? No, you don't necessarily need a huge amount of power for it. Because all it is, then, is it's essentially a, um, a media rig. Yeah. So I might set that one up in a uh, a more hobby friendly location. And it would also give uh, ladies and gentlemen a bit of a change of scenery. Cue later on Dave on the couch surrounded by dogs. <laughs> trying to paint for Fair tries to nibble the paint. I, I don't think I'd, I'd attempt it on the couch. Mm. Probably oh, end up course. going, uh, going in the front and in, uh, in maybe upstairs. I've got an attic that uh, we don't really use very much, so just set that all up and have a have a good go. Maybe I, ju I don't know how the internet is up there. I, I assume it's worse. It'd have to be the laptop, actually, thinking about it, if, uh, if we're oh. doing that. I am going to quickly nip and grab the other paints that I need. Okay. Because I had forgotten... I right, shall up. put Bullcab on for the time being. Back in a moment, good sir. No worries. Hi all. You have me for a bit. I am currently... getting there. Think of it as training for being on your own. <laughs> I should probably do that. I'm so bad at doing painting streams on my own. I really am. Like gaming, I can just talk shit for hours at a time. But painting? I know very little. I'm kind of just learning. I'm still learning. Okay, something's just broke. <laughs> Okay, where am I? Um, metal, yes. So I've done the, the side thing on there. This one needs doing. The little sort of ankle thing. The ankle nubbin, I think you'd call it. Just breaks up the foot a bit. When I, 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 when I, when I look at people painting their warhammers, I don't really see that this has been painted any differently than the other, the rest of the armor. But for me, it just breaks up the uh, breaks up the colors on the legs, you know. So you see, you just that there. I'll zoom in properly once I've uh, once I've built this for you, so you can see what I mean. 
but I do like to break the colours up quite a bit. Okay, uh, that can go silver as well. Yes, it can. Oh, I'm going to need to tidy this up so much. I'm getting paint everywhere where I don't want it. By the end of it, though, it'll st it will still look good. Mistakes are fine. Mistakes are fine. You just need to tidy them up afterwards. Okay. Yes. Sword. Got plenty of silver on there. Well, lead belcher. Let's just get all of these spiky bits. All lead belchered up. I think I can hear a badger. Do we have a badger? Right, I have returned. Excellent. I have been partially intercepted by the uh, fairy bandit. Ah. Uh, who was after butt scratches. Not butt scratches. Well, he was my saviour earlier on today. Oh dear. There was a particularly large spider. Oh, did and he? He did consume it. Oh, good. He was, he was uh, uh, sort of like edged around it and and walked off and thought, okay, please, just just move by the time I get back to it. And then all I heard was like some snarfling noises <laughs> and and sound of a very sort of like wet, sloppy, spitty cat. Mmm. He was like, mmm, delicious. Sustenance. Thank you for this glorious eight-legged bounty which you have bestowed upon me. <laughs> yeah, I saw Bear um, playing with a, a spider the other day. It was pretty big, so I'm kind of glad that Bear had him. Not that I've got much against, you know, spiders. They, they, they eat the flies, and I really hate flies, so... Technically, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spider fan. They do spider good work. Fan, spider fan. Does whatever a spider fan but, does. but if a spider gets up up in my area, gets all up in my grill, then the spider's going to die. He going down. Yep. Spiders will get up in my grill, die. These are facts of life. So any spiders that are watching. Stay out Dave's of my got, area. Dave's got your number. Yep. That goes for you up there as well. I know there's one up there somewhere. Just can't see it. He's up in the corner. Biding his time. Plotting. One day he'll come down and he will die. Doing his spidery thing. I'm disappointed. Are they not as pickled onion -y as they should be? Didn't Space Raiders used to be like a little car with the wheels? No, that's Space Invaders. So, isn't it? I think... Oh, no, that's Space Raiders. Yeah. These always been aliens. Yes, they have. Because okay. there was a salt and vinegar one, there was a pickled onion one, and then for some strange reason, the beef flavoured ones actually tasted like fish. Mm. Nice. Don't ask me how. That is like a, a magical thing which can only be explained by the people who made them. I know they're Transformer snacks. Yeah, Transformer snacks are the cars. Yeah. So it's similar sort of style of packaging, but. Similar sort of cheap crisp. But, like, yeah. Transformer yeah, snacks are the fun. ones. I never really rated the Transformer snacks. Just go out of your way to buy one of those retro sweet loot boxes. Nah, I was. Rate the sweets. I was all about. Um, that base. That base, <laughs> no trouble. Nah, the, the, if you go on cheap, cheap press, you got to go for the um, the Space Raiders. They they're the best. We got them. Yeah, there was um, the, gigantic bag. There was a, a, a corner shop that always seemed to have um, 
Space Raiders that had gone off, but they never had in date ones. But there was like so they were selling like Space Raiders at like two p a pack, and they should have been like ten p. I probably just went down to the like a Costco or something and just deliberately went to the the, the dropped aisle <laughs> for, for cheap purchases and just went right there. We got all of those. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's four million children out there which will eat eat these even though they're outdated. Yeah. Because the thing is... They, they tasted the same, they were just a bit yeah. soft. Exactly. So it's like red dwarf and dog's milk. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're... It's, uh, it's exactly you know, like dog's milk. The benefit is, it tastes exactly the same when it's off. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Let me pop me finger magic. There it is. And paint, paint, paint. Paint, paint, paint. Paint your booty. Paint your booty. Now I'm just gonna have to go back over the little blue bits. Okay, I need to paint the grill. I need to paint the grill on this uh, backpack. For some reason that just looked good to me. When it gets painted silver. Much satisfying. Yeah, again I have completely cocked up the uh, the painting, it's it's kind of gone everywhere, but the things I wanted to paint silver are now silver, so that's a success, I suppose. Just everything around it is also silver. So, I do need to get more accurate again. I used to be okay. <laughs> I, was, I, I, was, I was getting better. I've lost my touch now. That's the thing, you just need to, to keep at it. Yeah. Could also be that I'm tired as well, to be fair. That, that is also a very, very large defining factor about, about that. Yeah, painting when, t when tired never produces good results. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Unless. Unless, Unless you're one of these people who works better on like no sleep. Oh no, I am not one of those people. No sleep makes uh, makes me a Picasso in training. Yeah, it gives me the IQ of half of me, <laughs> and it just makes everything slow in my brain in my brain place. Everything in my brain place goes at slow motion when I've had no sleep. Now comes an interesting part. Do I go out of my way to actually splatter him with a little bit of blood? Do you? That is a question. Because at the moment... There he is. Oh, he looks cool. Is that is that the one that was like heavily painted beforehand? Yes, that was the one that was done all right there. I've, I've kind of brought him back. Obviously, you can see on the backpack there is like no. Yeah. No, not very many details on the, the pipe works and things like that. But I have, I have got him in good rank, considering. Un, like a fresh on the sprue, untouched. Yeah. Model is like this. Yeah. You've done well to uh, to to recover him. For the most part, that's purely down to my Herculean efforts to resurrect the Space Crusade box set. Yeah. 
And a lot of that was pre-painted. <laughs> right, I think that's all of the oh, lead belts are done. Oh, I missed something. So, now I just need to do the gold. And then I can start uh, sticking together. Or if my glue's gone, there it is. It's on its side, that's never a good idea. Sideways on glue, it never works. Holding your glue sideways? That's a gangster move, <laughs> for I saw. Man, I hold my glue sideways? Or anything for the birthday boy. Thanks, Chief. There we go. Ooh. Right, where was I? Gold, gold, gold. Balthazar. That's lead belt chair. Steel Legion drabbed. Close, but no cigar. There you go, Balthazar. Shake, shake, shake. Lovely stuff. Won't need too much of this, just enough to cover the Aquila. Uh, where's, where did I put that? There it is. There we go. Ooh. Do you, uh, do you want a D&D &D update? Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet news. My hair and gone bar, uh, bard has succeeded. We completed the, uh, the campaign. The, the one that starts in the carnival. The Moonlight Carnival, is it? I can't remember what the actual campaign's called, to be honest. It's the one in the, well, that's set in the Feywilds. And uh, it was a fun it was a fun little campaign. Very different to most campaigns I've played, because it was not very, very combat-focused, which is why I chose a bard. And, yeah. Did all right. By the end, my bard knew fire, uh, uh, fireball, which you know is not a bard spell at all. But like not it, at, all. at like I think it was level six or seven. It was basically like learn two spells from any other class. I was like cool beans, getting a fireball. Gives that fireball, kid. It. So. Scorching guitar solo. You just. Like, on the loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my hair and gone bard won the day with oh. his companions. Just realised. What? I need to show you something when oh, you're hello. For talking about um, vintage snacks. Vintage snacks. Look what I got from your birthday. Oh, those were minging. <laughs> how, do, how dare you say, look at how big it is, it's as big as my face. I know, oh, I used to them. hate those. Jazzies are amazing. Oh, basically I'm, just I'm dry, dry chocolate with hundreds and thousands on it. I will fight people because these are amazing. <laughs> hey, how's it going Stricken? Welcome in. Oh shit, do you know what, I was so tired that um, I we didn't get the sound alert going. Let me sort. Then? Let me sort that. Also, yes, stricken. You saw the best chocolate that ever exists <laughs> in a vast quantity. I ruined your intro. Oh no! I'm sorry about that. I also don't have me dinger on, so if people were chatting to me, I wouldn't have known. Oh, that... oh man. Yeah, I am so tired today. It's ridiculous. Oh, there you go, sorted it. My dinger is dinging. Ding dong. Ding dong. How is Stricken tonight? Welcome How's in. Stricken tonight? <laughs> He's. How the fuck is Stricken tonight? Stricken tonight. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Ding this. <laughs> Shades on hard mode. 
Now let me find those shades. They are probably under mm. all of my sprues. Uh, where are they? That's a good question. Oh, there they are. I see them. I see them. Oh, he's gonna make me do reps. <laughs> Straight up all the reps. I'm so tired. Oh my god. Full douche mode cheat activated. Yes. Right, let me get the weights. Oh. oh yeah, you may notice that the, the green screen is actually behind me, behind the sofa. Um, I broke it. Uh, the, the, the little ring of metal um, on the outside has snapped. So it will no longer mm. fold up. One, two, three, four, five, oh dear. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. Just for you, stricken refs. Okay. Oof. Let us get a base, a buttery biscuit base, because it is time to stick together. Stick together, team. <laughs> God. Fantastic game. Many a long, long night. Oh, yes. Being infuriated by people who buy the orb. Yes. And then getting tased. And the nuts. Okay, there we go. One leg. So it's the torsos go on together, then the legs go get sort of wedged into place. And then the legs get stuck onto the base. And that's the hard bit of the model done. All right. Where's my glue? It's extremely laid on, <laughs> to be honest, stricken. Yeah, it's fine. I appreciate the fact that, it, that, that you're here, man. It's been a lovely quiet night tonight. My low energiness has, I feel like, impacted the viewings. <laughs> I've been very, very sleepy. But we have we have charged on anyway. Doing the ultimate Warhammer painting of justice. Yep. There's a torso stuck together. Lovely. Ah, there's glue sticking to me. And there's Dave being stuck together. <laughs> this is the best thing. This is the best thing that I own right now. It means I can drink tea over the course of like three, four hours and it's still hot. It does not look like a flashlight. <laughs> this, this does not look like a flashlight, does it? Well, Mrs. Mrs. Volumetary says it does. Well, it did. All of those thermal cups kind of do. Purely <laughs> because the fact that most flashlights are, in fact, made in the same shape. <laughs> Stricken says a cheap one. <laughs> the fleshiest of lights. Right, where is this going? I think that goes there somehow. Right, like that. Gotcha. Ooh! -ah. Okay.
Okay, so that is the front, and that goes in 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 there somewhere. Oh, there, I see it. It goes in like that, and then the other one. I got you. And that's going to go in there, so that the cheeks stick together. Got to get those cheeks Ooh. together. Come on, Marine. Squeeze them cheeks! Squeeze them cheeks! There we go. Legs. That's you, my dear? Well, have a good evening. You're out. Oh, he came in. Put shades on me and made me do reps. That is Stricken's work here done. Mission mission completed. <laughs> Have a good night, dude. We'll see you again. <laughs> we'll definitely see you over the weekend because this weekend is Booze Control. Grappa edition. Drive. Drive so the, the Grappa drive. is being delivered tomorrow. I have decided tonic water is probably the best way to go, but I'm going to have a, like a, 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 a mixture of... <laughs> Someone has to. <laughs> yeah. like a huge bottle of lemonade. Man. Yeah, I'm going to have a mixture of uh, mixers just in case um, tonic is bad. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, but it does say that um, tonic water works well with, with grappa. So I'm going to have lemonade and um, ginger beer as well and see if that, that's any good. Apparently all three of those are ideas. Yeah, good luck with that, mate. <laughs> or is he planning on uh, taking you out? Oh, he's he's going to get he's going to try and get revenge for uh, for last time. Trick him. <laughs> Just, just buy the cheapest van you can and go at him. <laughs> Use all of your power. If uh, if anyone's wondering what Stricken needs revenge for, uh, have a look at my clips. Uh, yes. I, I was an evil sod. Bed. Come on. There you go. That'll do. Okay. We have most of a bit, uh, a model on a base. <laughs> he says I would not. Well, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> See you later, man. Have a fantastic evening. Be good evening, good sir. Right, I have need of. Hmm. Need for speed. Yes. No. That is a. An appalling painting job, that. I think I'm going to actually try and just fix that bit, particularly, because that is a mess. I'm just going to pop paint that, because that just needs just a little tweak. Come on, give me a little bit of paint. Give me a bit of paint. Thank you. Get that on while it's on wet on the sprue. Mm. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Clean the brush, clean the brush. Always clean the brush. Otherwise it'll end up being like all of my other brushes and shit. <laughs> Turns to concrete. Yeah. I, I think I might need to get myself a couple of new brushes at some point. Right, the time for shades is over. I gave you nine minutes that time, that was good. Right, next. 
Uh, I would usually put the arms on uh, now, but that has just been pa uh, glued, uh, painted. So let's find my clippers. Where have I put them? Where they? I must have. I must have moved them while I was. Uh... There they are. Looking for my glasses. Well keeping other things out, so. Yeah, I must have just put them down in a weird place looking for shades. There we go. Get the backpack stuck on. That'll be lovely for all of us. Oh man. I've got so many classic games now. Um, to that like or like trilogies that I need to start, but I just know that I'll never get around to. Hmm. So I got hold of the original Metal Gear Solid this week, or last week, um, and I've got two and three. Uh, I don't own four. I know I've got five, but I don't think I own four anywhere. So that's that's on my list. I've got um, Soul Reaver one and two. Soul Reaver One was a uh, was a bit harder to get hold of. Yeah, that one. That one has a bit more of a, a popular following. Yeah. And uh, so that's going to be interesting. I would like to get the Legacy Kane games done. I know that I've got like the um, the PC um, ports for quite a few of the Legacy Kane games, like the earlier ones before Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. Not call. You know what? Soul Reaver, sorry. No, no, I don't know what you mean. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, Dave, what do you mean? You bastard. Damn right. Wait, I can paint that silver. Okay. What do you think? Um, in terms of positioning of the sword arm. Like, okay, I think that looks kind of interesting. Like, uh, he's got his, his, his arm sort of down, resting. But yeah, like, like a swipe. Yeah, whereas um, if I have a, like a triumphant thing like that, it's like, oh, I have the power! Have and his arm just fell. I mean, I could, I could have it like fully down, but that just looks kind of weird. That looks kind of weird. Especially when I fucking gonna... drop it on the floor. <laughs> oh man. I should just decide and glue it. <sighs> Make sure there's no dog fluff on it. You can never be too careful in this house. Right. See, glue. See, that's, that's the thing, Dave. Everything is dog fluff. Yes. Reality is dog fluff. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the swoosh, because I think I went for the triumphant uh, pose on the uh, on the other one that was similar. Just holding oh. this arm there, where it like that. And I'm above you, Dave. Yes. So just look at them. Get your references. I mean, I've, got a, I've got a swoosh on this one. <laughs> it's fine. This is where I've got like everyone posed in exactly the same position. <laughs> Somehow. Get your swoosh on. Get your swoosh on. Get your swoosh on. Okay. And it's this one on that arm. Alright, and then glue in the little crevice, and then get it in there, in between that and that. Don't glue it to yourself, you idiot. Oops. 
Ah, oh, fucking fuck the arm there. Yeah, that works. Don't push it too hard, otherwise it's gonna fall off. In fact, I think it's already gone. It's already gone. Needs more blue. Fuck's sake. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. And then lump some glue there. Get that and shove it in. That's pretty sweet there. Yes. Nice. Got an arm with its pauldron. Don't worry, the zoom in will happen once it's all been judged up a bit. I might do a pre judge actually. I'll stick the uh, the upper arm on and the head, and then I'll show you the pre judge so you can judge how I judge. And yourself. See, you, you knew where I was going with it. I but just I, I just fucked the wording up. So, of course I know where it's going. Because <laughs> I've already been there. Okay. Yeah, that works. That works like that. Decent arm position in there. And then the final bit of the arm, the pildren, shoulder pad, left that on there without fucking sticking it to your fucking finger, thank you. Nice. And then let's decide which head we're having. Um, I think that one's slightly nicer. We'll go with that. Just twisting it off. You should never do that, you should always clip, but I'm lazy. You should never twist your head. Yeah, never twist your head off. It never ends for well. For now. Okay. There we go, that's uh, the first base coat, uh, without any zhuzhing. Uh, let me get my controls, there we go, and I will fuzz myself deliberately so that I can bring it to the camera. Whoop! There you go. Hello, cat friend. So there is the unzhuzhed version, you can see it's a mess, I've gone over the lines pretty much everywhere. It needs it needs a tidy. It needs a pretty bad tidy. That knee pad, look at that. Dairy me. Dairy me, this will not do. The Emperor will not abide this sort of messiness. You're fucking right, mate. You gotta look a bit more like me. Yeah. Ah. Yes, there you go. Enough of that. So, now comes we the... We have in fact learned that the Imperial Fists are Cockney users. Yes. Yes, they are. Of course they are. They're Terran. They knows a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> Alright. And now comes the bit we're all waiting for. Let's make him messy. Get them all lovely and mucky. He's taking his butthole, isn't he? I'm pretty sure I can hear that people say it's there too. Mmm. Yeah. Butthole noises. Matter, matter of fact, that he, he feels the need whenever people come into the room to be like, Mmm, I'm giving the old razzle dazzle. 
and the leg goes up in the air and, and he just goes in for it. Yeah. It must be sparkling clean. Cats, man. Oh. They do it to annoy you, I'm sure. Cats are dicks. Oh. When he, well, then, this is true. But we love them anyway. This is true, they are very cute. And fuzzy, and was like. Right. So I am Agrax Earth shading the shit out of this thing. I use Agrax Earth shade because the model itself is yellow basically and it just it's a shade that complements the uh, the model's base colour a bit better than uh, Null Noil, which I use for my uh, Imperial Guard. Because they are blue. Gotta be the guy. Yes. So we're just going to absolutely coat the shit out of this. And it's going to look even worse. But it's got to get worse before it gets better. It has to get worse before it gets better. Because then, once it's been ruined, we can then do touch-ups and highlights. Yes. And it will pop. As they say. So yep, yeah, just getting it all of this muddy colour into all of the crevices, the nooks and crannies. All of it. I'm ruining the uh, the yellow, but the extra coat of yellow on top does make the difference and it does make it even nicer looking. Ruin before it gets better. Gonna make it worse. You might be thinking to yourself, oh my god, I've put way too much of this on. Just keep spreading it round and you'll be reet. You will be reet. It's surprising how much it actually covers. And if you've made splodges and it's dried a bit too much in one place, don't worry about it. You can just paint back over it with the colour you want it. Normal oil does not leave lumps or anything, so you can't, you, you, you literally cannot ruin it. If, if you have a wash that's lumpy, then you need to have thrown that out a long time <laughs> ago. Yeah. Right, there we go. Now I'm going to start just taking some of the excess bits off, dabbing on a cloth, and then just chucking it more everywhere else. Just need a tiny bit actually on the Aquila. Okay, the Aquila is an important part that needs a lot of oil. Oh, also the helmet, fucking hell. Need the helmet. There you go. The Helmut. Helmut. Okay, and there you go, he's a very muddy boy now, he's a very very muddy boy. He will shine up real nice. He will, he's a very muddy boy, but you've got all of that lovely, lovely detail in those crevices. Let me zoom out a tiny bit so I can show you a bit more. All the edges, all the... The bunk bits. Yeah, so once that's dried, we just need to go back over it in uh, in the desired colours. And he will look similar to this lead. This lead right here. It was another one. With the swish. Yes. Lovely. Come on, focus, thank you. <laughs> Camera's like, no! I like I like being not auto-focused. It means I don't have to work so hard. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me not auto-focus. Well, there goes my phone. Oh, why, what's up? 
It's gone flat. Oh no. <laughs> Dead phone. I can no longer observe the chat. It's alright, don't worry. I will I've now got the beeper, so if anyone does chat at us, I have the time. And speaking of time. It is the half nine. It is, it is. Do you need to be going? Yeah. Okay then. Well, let's do a quick uh, roundup of our lovely Discord, and uh, next time I'll do I'll be doing a D and D model, and uh, I might fit, uh, make him shinier. Uh, right, let's go to the Discord. There it is, lovely stuff. Sure. So. In the Discord, what was the last time we, we painted? The last time I painted, I did that thing. The Atlas. Uh, right, so, Monkey King has been doing some highlight work on his marine there. That's a fantastic looking model. I really, really appreciate this. Look at that, look at that highlight on that. Fantastic work. Uh, Monkey King again. He's uh oh that's a different marine. Ooh. He's got some snowy effects going on there on that base. Look at that base. I love the blood coming out of that that, um, that chaos marine. Nice. That is that is some good work that. <laughs> Hell yes. And uh, yeah. That's uh, that's about all we've got in the Discord, Mr. Badger. Do you want to show the ladies and gentlemen the things what you have done? Well, I've got parts of them ready and sorted on the sprues, ready to get some dudes up and running. And then I have one guy who looks like he's been through the ringer a bit, but <laughs> he's there and he's in pre heresy yeah. world. He does. He can he can feel the effects of the warp. And I've actually, because I've got this. Yeah. Really, oh, hang on. Got, hang on. I've, I've just twisted the, it. Um, the things are actually in it as well, the transfers. Nice. So I can stick some worldly just transfers on there. Yeah. I've got some transfers there uh, from like my old Marines, so they will probably still work. I don't know if they go off, do they? Do um, they? No. No, they don't. They have water activated tattoos. So. There you go. Uh, myself, I have done the, this inky lad. Right here. Uh, let me see if I can <laughs> maneuver this. Where's my buddy option? Controls! There we go. This inky lad right here. Uh, he is still drying, and uh, on a future paint club, we will be tidying him and making him look stonking good. Similar to what I have done on this gentleman right here, who has a hair sticking out of the foot top of him, apparently. There you go. Ooh, there you go. A bit too close there. Right. So that's us, I believe. I should probably mm -hmm. focus my camera. <laughs> um, right. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you so much to um, to Badger for joining us once again for taking time out of your day. Of course. To paint with me and get me painting. It's good. Um, your channel is on a bit of a hiatus. It is on a considerable hiatus. So. Are you coming back at all, or are you just for the, for the time being? For the no. time being, I am a quiet badger. Yes. I'm a contemplative badger. There is a lot of things which I still need to work through in my brain, and when it comes to uh, scheduling, yes, and getting stuff ready. Understandable. Right. Over here, um, it, 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 the fun never stops. I am going to have to do a stream tomorrow because I uh, miss Sunday's Battletech stream. So I, I need to do a makeup stream. Makeup uh, stream? And by it? that, I mean not doing my makeup. <laughs> um, yes, the green screen is slightly knackered, so I may need to have a green screenless setup at some point. Um, this weekend, I'm going to try and get the Xbox up and running um, and see if I can get Mecha Salt working. Uh, we had a false start on Sunday, but hopefully, and I'm actually going to test it outside of streaming this time, 
Hopefully I'll be able to get it working for you. Anywho, it's been fun. Have a fantastic, fantastic evening, fantastic week. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please hit that sub button on YouTube. And, um, Tararo, see you next time. Toodles.